Good morning. It's another beautiful, gorgeous day. Many times people ask a question, is it too late for me to change? Am I too old for it or not? Which is a very common question. A lot of times people underestimate themselves. They feel they're too old to change their ways, to do teshuvah, to become closer to Hashem, to get on the right path. I want to give you an example. We see an example of Noah. Noah was almost a grandfather Almost a grandfather. All kids were married off already. He started building an ark. And Noah, if Noah would have an excuse, I'm too old, 500 years old, to build an ark, leave me alone, let me stay in my comfort zone, then humanity would never get saved. Another example is Avram Avino. 100 years old, you know, you need some peace of mind at that age. You want to relax a little bit, enjoy your life. Avram is 100 years old. Sarah Iman is 90 years old. They decided to have a child. Hashem blessed them with a the child. They were not walking around like, what do we need a child for? They were opposite happy. It's never too late. No matter what we're doing in life, it's never too late to get on the right derech. It's never too late to start eating healthy. Not, never too late to start exercising, to doing the shuva. In America, they say 40 years old, it's like a mid-Christ age. They feel it's too late. I'm too old to do anything. Mid-age mid Christ, 40 years old. It's not too late. No matter where you are, there's still a chance for improvement. If you look in the Torah, book of Shemot, chapter 3, Pasuk 5, Moshe Rabbeinu is standing by the burning bush. Moshe Rabbeinu is taking care of the, his father knows it throws shepherd, uh, animals. He's standing by the burning bush. Moshe is looking at the scenario. There's a big fire. The bush is burning, especially dry bush is burning in seconds. It's not burning out. It's not, it's not burning out. So Moshe is very curious, let me come closer. And he's at the same time, when we experience situations like that in life, what goes through our mind, we get a little bit overwhelmed, like what is it all about, what, what am I doing here, why did I even come here? Many different thoughts go through your mind. So Hashem tells him, Moshe, whatever you're standing, Admat Kodesh Hu, you're standing in a sacred place, in a holy land, in a holy space, in a sacred space, Rabotai. No matter where you are in your life, you are in a sacred space. You are in a sacred Don't think like, I wish I'll be somewhere else right now. When we're at work, we think, I wish I'll be at home sleeping. When we're sleeping at home, I wish I'll be at work. We're always somewhere else. Ki admat kodesh hu. Take off your shoes. Ki admat kodesh hu. Chapter 3, Pasuk 5. This is a sacred place. You're in the right place. You're in the right place and the right timing. It's never too late. But of course, we shouldn't push it off. Last uh, two weeks ago, I was at a zuchut to attend Sheva Brachot of a person, 60 years old, got married at the age of 68 years old, first time in his life, 68 years old. He had an excuse, also, it's too late, I'm too old, leave me alone, and, uh, what are the chances I'm going to have kids? 68 years old, first time got married, because he understood that, you know what? This was, this was the will of Hashem. You are in a sacred place. You are, your situation is special. It's Kodesh. Every situation in life is Kodesh. It's holy. There's a reason why Hashem puts you in that situation. But of course, we shouldn't push it off. We shouldn't say, look, I still have plenty of time. You're in a sacred You're in the right time, right place. Of course, we have to do Shitadut. We have to take actions. So no matter where we are in life, we should never say, I'm too late to becoming, to keeping the mitzvot. Rabbi Akiba was 40 years old. 40 years old. He said, you know what, let me go learn alphabet. He could have said, I'm too old. Leave me alone. I cannot let's start putting on tefillin. There's a person that uh, had a privilege to put on tefillin on. I was surprised. A person said the first time in his life he put on tefillin. 81-year-old. First time he said he put on tefillin in his life. Second time. The first time was on his bar mitzvah. It's never too late, but of course we should not push it off. Rabbi Aki was 40 years old. He wasn't complaining, I'm too old. It's never too late. People shouldn't say, I'm too, too late for me to go on a diet. It's never too late for you to go on a diet. It's never too late to start living a healthy way of living. It's never too late to get a job. I'm not too young to get a job. I never had a good job, people say. It's not too late. It's not too late to start a family. It's not too late to start a business, no matter where you are. Ke'adamat kodeshu. Moshe, you are standing in a holy, sacred place. You, each one of us in a situation, we are in a holy place. Sometimes we get stuck in the traffic. It's normal. People go crazy. I'm in traffic. Or, you're in the right place. You're supposed to be in the park, in the traffic. Hashem wants you to be in that traffic. Because while you're sitting in that traffic, you're going to say, oh, Hashem, help me. Oh, okay. 
that was another step closer to Hashem. Or while you're standing in the traffic, you said a paragraph of Tehilim. While you're sitting in the traffic, you said some kind of Pasuk. Or it could be opposite. Either we're going closer to Hashem, going opposite direction. People start cursing. People getting upset. People get stressed. People get anxiety, panic attack. Or bring more Kiddushah. So no matter what situation, which situation we are in life, it's to bring us closer. Hashem wants you to be in that, that situation. Sometimes people complain, it's too hot. I can't go learn. I cannot, I don't want to go sit in the shul. I cannot pray. It's too hot. Hashem wants you to pray in the hot. If there is no way to bring AC, of course. If there is a way to do it, you should do it. Sometimes Hashem wants us to pray in the cold. It's too cold. I don't want to get up. It's 15 degrees outside. Hashem wants you to go in the cold. That's what He wants exactly. Not for you as to complain. Oh, I'm too cold, too hot. He wants you that. Sometimes we're not comfortable. Sometimes we feel sick. Sometimes we feel weak. Sometimes we feel uh, whatever it is, low energy. We're human beings. But that's what Hashem wants you in that situation to pray. Sometimes a person tells me he's very upset. Why is he up upset? Because he, on Shabbat, had to stay over with his wife in the hospital. Why to be upset? How want, Hashem wanted you to be there with her on Shabbat. Hashem wanted you to dive with the Armenian. Hashem wants you to, to make a kiddush in the hospital, to pray in the hospital, to praise Hashem, to say tilim in the hospital. That's what Hashem wanted. This is part of Hashem's, this is part of the plan. We cannot have everything.